Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate you. If you're not new, you know you're the what? Part of the grateful gang, gang, gang. I'm sorry, my allergies are acting up. I just took my medicine <laughs> and it's not hitting yet. So I apologize if you hear a lot of sniffling and stuff going on in this video. However, today's video is going to be a meal prep series kind of thing, me meal prepping and the way that I go through it because I got to start. That is one of my March goals and I know for me, having you guys holding me accountable every week for this meal prep video is what's going to keep me on it. Excuse me. So um, this week I'm actually using um, the meal prep plan from Plan Your One Life. Her link will be um, linked down in the description if you're interested and uh, I'm excited to use it. So I don't use it the way that it's supposed to. On the right, there's the, the days of the week. And on the left, <clears throat> excuse me, there is the grocery list. I do, what I do is I like to mix and match meal prep because I don't necessarily like to have the same thing every day. So, oh, and I joined Weight Watchers, you guys, last week. Last week was kind of like my trial run. And this week I'm trying to stay really focused on having things prepared to eat because I know it's when I don't have anything prepared to eat that I tend to just eat whatever and then throw myself off of my points. I got on scale and it was not good. So mm, we got to get it together, you guys. And so therefore, meal prep has commenced. Um, So the way I'm using it is I put all the things that I want to eat on this side and then I go to my pantry and I see what I have in my fridge and see what I have. So, and I separate them by type. So for instance, on my list, Monday, not Monday, too, <laughs> what I'm eating for meat is ground beef and chicken breast. What I'm eating for starches is sweet potatoes and brown rice. What I'm eating for, for veggies is cabbage and spinach. And what I'm eating for what I call extras would be black beans, plantains, and avocados. And then breakfast options. I'm not big on breakfast, but I like to have something. And by breakfast option would either, I'm looking into this thing called a Premier Protein Shake because my other friend who's doing the Weight Watchers with me says they're two points and that she thinks they're good. And they do have a lot of protein and not a lot of sugar. So I'm going to look into that and then maybe smoothies. So I already have a mix of fruits in the fridge, in the freezer. So I'm going to do that with water and maybe some spinach and some honey only because I'm not, and I would want it to do it with orange juice or like an apple juice, but I'm trying to wash the sugar first off. And then I'm also doing a thing where I'm only having like water and carbonated waters or flavored waters for the month of March. Uh, yeah. So no juice in the smoothie, which is okay because I'm trying to limit the sugars. And then the Premier Protein drink hopefully is okay or at least tolerable. So all the things I listed, the things that I actually need to buy on this side, I am using the grocery list portion, is chicken breast, peppers for the cabbage, red pepper flakes, smoked paprika, olive oil, spinach, avocado, some kind of dressing that's not going to blow like my points away, um, low carb tortillas, plantains, black beans, and only if the plantains look okay, and the premium protein, protein shake. I don't have any, everything else I have on hand, but the way her thing is made to be used is you would put what you're cooking for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is awesome if you make an organized plan. And I probably could make an organized plan with the things, but I'm kind of like a fly by night. As long as the food is there and I can put what I feel like eating in a bowl. I'm a big, like, what do you call them? Buddha bowl kind of people that like to just um, mix and mash their food and then mix it up and eat it that way. I know not everybody likes that, but I like my food like that. And then I feel like I'm getting a balance of everything that way. Uh, okay, so we've done that already. Literally went to the kitchen. You guys, I have filmed a much longer video with you guys walking around with me in the house and going through the stuff. But then it was getting to be like 18 minutes. So on the hand, it took me about 18 minutes to kind of figure out everything and what I had in the kitchen and all that. But I do have black beans. I already have sweet potatoes. And I already have Uncle Ben's rice. And I have the ground beef in the sink. So, and onions and all that stuff. So now we're going to leave the house and grab the things on the list. And I'll probably be back either in the car 
<clears throat> after I purchase everything or when I get back home and we're about to prep everything. Let me know if y'all like this video or would you have preferred the longer one where I actually walk you through everything? I feel like y'all are probably like, no. But just to give you a real life stamp, it took me about 18 minutes to figure out everything and make my list. So not bad. So let's head to the store. Hey y'all. Hey, we're at um, the Aldi. We're at the Aldi. Okay guys, so you can see that I pulled up to Aldi, got my mask ready, got my quarter out, and I'm gonna get my bag. They don't give you bags at Aldi. They have your bag. So I have my bag, got my quarter, get my um, cart, and they do give you back your quarter if you don't know. And I can't record in there because I don't know I can't, but my list that I wrote on that sheet of paper, I'm not a sheet of paper girl. I wrote them all in my phone. So I kind of need the list out of my phone. So I'll see y'all when I get out of here. All right, I'm out of Aldi now. That didn't take me that long. I don't think I was in that long. But I didn't get, I think, four things. I think the dressing didn't have too many options. And the protein shake I didn't find. Uh, no good plantains. And uh, I think one, oh, no smoked paprika in there. Just had regular paprika. And I already I have regular paprika. So I might just go ahead and drive down to Kroger and see what they have. If they don't have anything in Kroger, then I'm just going to go home and start meal prepping. The bad thing for me is that my only day is Sunday off right now so I can't do all the things I would like to do on a Saturday that would have been this kind of stuff and then just been able to prep the day of like things could have been marinating and chilling from Saturday night into today and everything has to be done today but it's okay we're not gonna worry about that we're not gonna fuss but I'm just telling y'all where we're at right now well that was literally the fastest change of plans the fastest you just saw me is probably as fast as I just got here I forgot there was Walmart right here like literally less than a minute I mean there's you know one of those back behind and you drive and you got there oh you can see Walmart perfect I'm at the Walmart so I'm gonna go see really the thing on my list I want the most I would really like plants but I really want some dressing that's not going to it's gonna be decent you guys it's now raining I think you can tell it's raining I'm back in the car Walmart took a little longer but that's basically because I spent all day trying to look for a good dressing and still didn't come out there with a what I consider a good healthy dressing I came out with one that was decent points but I really still want to find one that is like all the dressings are made of like vegetable oil sunflower oil I just wanted an avocado oil or virgin olive oil beginning in the top of the mix I'm gonna have to google it I'm gonna have to go to my dude Bobby Flay okay not Bobby Bobby Flay Slave City whatever his name is Slave City and go see what he's got to say because his Bobby approved stuff be the real deal like they don't always taste the deliciousness but they're healthy um so i'm gonna have to look into that I'll, I'll link him down below his channel is amazing if you're into like super healthy eating um what else what else we did get some stuff not a lot of stuff but i still managed to spend almost 40 dollars again which means my little 40 dollar budget that i'd be putting up for um groceries has got to change however there are a few things in there that i will not have to buy again so like the olive oils and the spray avocado oil that stuff will last a little longer and the spices so we'll figure it out like what i actually spent on just the groceries this time but I'll show y'all when I get home it is raining like I said so I'm about to head home and I bought chips y'all oh fun fact do not do not and I wasn't hungry when I left the house I haven't eaten in it's two o'clock um I haven't eaten in it's two o'clock oh it's two o'clock yeah exactly two o'clock and I wasn't hungry thirsty I think is what it is but I felt like I need to eat some so I know next time to bring like a bag of nuts with me or something so instead I found these crispy layered potato bites by Lay's never saw them before and they're three cheese flavored and if you know me I'm a foodie like I'm a chip person which is bad high blood pressure but I'm gonna try them but if y'all never seen them I wanted to let y'all see what they look like Ooh, interesting it smells delicious and cheesy. Oh. They're giving me a vibe. They're not, they're not chip-like. I don't know what this tastes like, but it tastes like something else that I've had before. I can't 
can't tell. I can't pinpoint. Oh. That is not going to fill me up. But I'm going to make myself feel like I don't feel like I stopped my timer for fasting. But I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to head home. Show y'all what I bought. Okay, guys. <clears throat> okay, I'm home. I'm tired. And honestly, right now, I don't feel like doing any prepping. And I'm just be honest. These are just okay. Like, if I could take this back, I would have just made it home and not ate. Like, that was a waste of point. And I think I was really just thirsty. Whatever. I didn't bring my water either. Let's get started with the haul. What did I get from Walmart? I spent, I don't know where my day is. It's in my bag. Thirty-something dollars. I got some chosen food, 100% avocado oil spray. This is what I ended up with. Boo. <laughs> but it was the Hidden Valley Ranch Chipotle, South Southwest Chipotle branch. I like Southwest and they didn't have any like, it's definitely not, it's definitely not the best. I did find, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, still the sneezing. Some of the Premier Protein Shakes, my friend Margo, shout out to Margo, um, said I should try. I got the banana and cream one because I'm not going to put this against my like uh, juice no juice type thing because this is actually like a meal replacement type thing so i'm gonna use this maybe even in some of the smoothies to make them have some protein and we'll try them it, it hopefully it's not hard <clears throat> and then i got an avocado it's still hard which i like to buy because i don't eat them right away and i have one already right and then i bought a cucumber Cucumber was not on the list, but when I saw it, I love a good cucumber, y'all. What's your favorite vegetables? And I got me a thing of unsalted cashews. I love cashews, but I have to be careful because I, when I say I love them, I mean I love them. And they're expensive. It was like $9 for this can, and you can only have like a quarter cup as a serving, and I could eat this whole thing like... So it's going to be like, package it out and bring it to work and not the whole can. And then Walmart, I also got myself a little bit. I didn't write any snacks. So I got myself some popcorn, some Himalayan sweetened popcorn from Lesser Evil, which I love this brand. Let me just read you the ingredients and show you why I love this brand real quick. This is the list of ingredients. And I can almost promise you I can pronounce everything. Organic non-GMO popcorn, organic raw cane sugar, organic extra virgin coconut oil, Brown rice syrup, chameleon crystal sea salt, organic flavor, and organic sunflower lecithin. Now, I, that's all that's in there. Only things I don't really love is the brown rice syrup and the organic flavor, because what, what, what is that anyway? But overall, there's only six grams of sugar in, you get two cups of popcorn. Compared to all the other snacks, it ain't doing too bad. And then another brand of snack that I used to love when I was, that I love when I was paleo, because I always wanted like nachos and cheese, but you can't really like have Doritos, is this brand called Siete, and I found their grain-free tortillas, because you couldn't have grains on paleo, that's not what I'm doing right now, but it is dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, vegan, paleo, and, um, and soy, I said all of the things, I just said it really fast. And the ingredients are right here. Like, I love when I could, there's like minimal ingredients. Cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut oil, chia seeds, sea salt, citric acid, lime oil, and contains coconuts. That's it. That's it, y'all. That's it. All right, so that's all I got from Walmart. So let me get y'all what I got from Aldi. I did find some everything bagel skinnies. They're 110 calories. They're really thin. I, I don't know. They weren't a lot of points. Let's just say that. And then I got two bags of spinach. That's not spinach. Sure. <laughs> two bags of spinach. I got a pack of planting chips, which now I wish I could bring back because I didn't know I was going to buy the other ones, but I bought this one first. But honestly, it only contains platinum. It does have vegetable oil, corn oil, and or cottonseed oil. But it's just a chip. It's just plantain, salt, and an oil, which I wish was avocado oil, but it is what it is. Then I bought some cuties. I found my 
low carb tortillas. I got some chicken. I didn't buy chicken breasts. I did buy chicken breast tenders because I like how much more even these were. And to be honest, these were $5.38 and $5.60. And to get like two or three thick chicken breasts was like $10. So I was like, mm -mm. no ma'am, no ham. I'll just take a few chicken tenders and, and make it work. And then a crushed red pepper flakes. Okay, so out of the things that I won't have to buy like every single week, that would be like this olive oil spray, the salad dressing, the crushed red pepper flakes. My bag is falling everywhere. I got some black beans, organic black beans from Aldi. There were I bought two packs, so they're only 90 something cents each. So I got my two black beans. And these are just replacements because I already have black beans. I got peppers, which also will not need to be brought every week because we'll have so much. And then there's some extra virgin olive oil, organic extra virgin olive oil that I got from Aldi. This will not need to be brought every week. A lot of the things that were a little more expensive are things I wouldn't have to buy every week. I did get some chili powder. This is on my list, but I don't think I have any. Another avocado from Aldi, because avocados are like for me. I know not everybody likes them. And then... Last but not least, ground cumin. Because a lot of my spices, I think, are old and need to be tossed. And those are the ones I know I use often. But that's it. Let me show you an overview of kind of what we have here. And we spent, uh, like, four or five, eight, 80 bucks, pretty much. My water. Yeah, not too bad okay so let us go to the salon no to the kitchen <laughs> let's go to the kitchen and figure out our cooking or at least marinate the chicken and let it sit for a little while because we need to let that marinate for at least 30 minutes okay at least this is my wallpaper for the <coughs> child excuse me the laundry room oh i don't know if y'all know so I got laundry. Someone was nice enough, I'm not allowed to say who, but someone was nice enough to buy me a laundry set of washer and dryer. It's nothing too fancy, girl, but it's mine. I like that. Oh, let me turn it. There they go. There they go, there they go, there they go. Hey. Now, they're supposed to come hook them up, and I really wanted to put this wallpaper up before they hooked them up. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. That might have to be a different video because I still have to take this down. So here's another issue. And maybe y'all can help me. And this is why I'm gonna include this in this haul or in this meal prep because I need y'all help. So these obviously are much bigger, smaller than the space. And this is actually where the water for the washer is supposed to go and the dryer vent is over there. So technically, this dryer should go over there and this washer should go over there. But when I had it over there, it was like the dryer door wouldn't, I would have to keep the dryer right here. And I kind of wanted them in the middle, which they're not in the middle. So now I think I have to switch the placement so that they hook up to the right things. But should I now, I'm thinking since they're gonna be off center, <laughs> everything's gonna kind of have to go to the right. I'm wondering if I should try and find like a shelf or like put my hamper down there, down here, or put like a shelf. And remember, we don't have no linen closet. So maybe I can insert a shelf, like a long shelf, and then a small shelf, and then a rod for hanging, cause I'm a hanger. Like I need my rod for hanging. And then like a long shelf across here. Am I too close and you're not getting my vision? Let me know what you think. Help me, help! <laughs> Send help. Anyway, let's get back to the cooking, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm about to. Um, this, what am I doing? I'm about to just cook or prep the food and cook it, and then I'll come back when it's all done because this is not a cooking video. This is just my process on meal prepping and y'all helping me stay on track for meal prepping and a grocery haul. Okay, so I'll be back when the food is done and show y'all what I did. Cause I 
to get daddy, get daddy on record. So mm -hmm. if anything happens and it all falls down, we'll say it was his fault. Yeah, okay. Daddy, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Are we sure you know what you're Look, doing? It's blue to blue and red to red. That's it. You're good. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm doing a thousand dollar for the class. <laughs> When your dad has you extra pieces and you're like, what are those for? But they were just supposed to cover the top. <laughs> just checking. Are we doing a load to make sure it doesn't work? So it works. Mm, that's a mess. We don't want to run some water in Top cool. Casual. I could try to wash my work shirts. They uh, always need to be done. Yeah, but leave up the lid. Please run in there. You have to lift up the lid for it to go. I have to wash extra rings. I'm going to put it on top cool. But there's nothing in it. Are you just wasting water, sir, when we could have made a load? Move your box. <laughs> Give me the top food by your box. <laughs> no, God, does it drain? All right, daddy's gone and... I'm done. Finally, I swear it took a really long time. So this is the ground beef, chicken. I gave daddy two pieces, some rice, and there's so much more rice. Cucumbers, cabbage with peppers and onions, sweet potatoes from the air fryer, and then boiled and mashed sweet potatoes. Um, So this should be enough for a little while. I'm actually about to make my dinner, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. I did forget to make the black beans. Well, I didn't forget. I just chose not to because I'm tired. I'll do them another day. But here's dinner. Um, there's spinach on the bottom, some brown rice, the ground turkey, just a little bit of the sweet potato because we already have rice, some of the cucumbers, and half an avocado. And being that I haven't eaten any real food today, this is more than, this is okay. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful, and I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day, you guys. Remember, it is not faith over fear, but yes, faith over fear. But remember, all things are always working out for our good. Always. Not just today, but forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Bye.